He was acquitted by a jury, but still causes leftist fury. Several lefty student groups at Arizona State University, they have a university there, <laughs> are campaigning to get Kyle Rittenhouse kicked out of the school's online classes. <laughs> They call him murderer Kyle Rittenhouse, and they're hosting a rally in support of their demands, which includes banning Rittenhouse, reaffirming support for the Multicultural Center as a safe space from white supremacy, which is like demanding a safe space from ghosts. <laughs> they also want funds redirected from the ASU Police Department to the Multicultural Center because a lack of police really helped matters in Kenosha. And finally, and oddly, to quote, make Gutfeld do his show shirtless. <laughs> That's funny. I can't argue there, Susan. The kids want what they want. <laughs> Stop laughing. Now, the school confirmed that Rittenhouse was enrolled as a non-degree online student, but he hasn't gone through the admissions process and is no longer enrolled, which means he filled out an online form where they will take anyone. And the fact is, Rittenhouse was found not guilty. It's only fair he deserves another shot, which is poor wording on my part. <laughs> Meanwhile, ASU students for socialism said they don't feel safe with Kyle being at the school, even if it's just online. But with socialists that week, how are they going to implement gulags? <laughs> A little history humor there. <laughs> it's sad how much the school's changed. Playboy magazine once named ASU the number one party school back in 2002. We asked an ASU student who graduated that year to comment. So, Rick, what do you think about this Rittenhouse story? <laughs> I don't know why people are worried about danger from going to school with someone on the Internet. Hell, I took basket weaving with the Unabomber. I'm okay. Wow, so how else has college changed since you graduated? It was constant parties back then. I would go to a, a kegger, then I would follow that up with a more relaxing kegger, then I would sleep during class. The only danger we worried about back then was, was babes tripping over themselves to get to me. <laughs> Let's go drink some beer, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Tyrus, you gotta love that they're trying to cancel somebody who was, who was uh, like on an online class. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty funny. Wants, where's, where's Dean Wormser when you need him? Dean Wormer. Yeah, just send him home. Yeah. If you're so, if we can't do anything for you. If you're afraid of the internet, yeah. then maybe get off your phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, these... And I'm assuming this is a huge group, four or five, six hundred thousand members <laughs> strong that have all these demands. I think it should be done in a very tasteful no, mm -hmm. hell no, and go to school somewhere else. Yeah. Because we don't, I just like, I don't have the right to determine who I want to go to school if I don't like somebody. I don't want my neighbor's kid going to the same school as my daughter. So I'm pulling, like, he needs to, he can't go because he eats paint. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not for me yeah. to determine. And it's the same thing here. So they're getting their little moment and they're the little socialists and all that other kind of... Let them go somewhere else because what do you need education for? Your socials are sharing everything. That's, that, that's what kills... I, I mean, they're more dangerous. Yeah. A socialist group, cat are more dangerous than anything. Carl Rittenhouse was found innocent because he acted in self-defense. You can agree, disagree, whatever. But he, the socialists as a group have done more harm to the world than most organizations on the planet. And that is a scientific fact, although I just made it up here. It's hard, because on the one hand, I'm like, should men be allowed on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if you one look at my Instagram <laughs> comments, you'd be like, she has a point. <laughs> uh, but no, obviously, like, they really love to protest the things because they don't have to add anything. They just mm -hmm. hate things and they protest things. So they don't care that he's online. They can always come up with a reason right. that, you know, it's the safe space is whatever you want it to be. Right. If you say you don't feel safe, you're not safe, and therefore you have to march for it. You don't have to actually have any reasons or do anything or add anything. It, you can just tear other things down, which is probably a lot easier. And so, by the way, what if you're not, you don't feel safe around socialists, since socialists want to take your stuff and, and, and redistribute it. <laughs> like, it's like, can't you, it's like, I don't feel safe. I mean, socialists have been responsible for so much death for uh, over, you know, centuries. It's like, why, I mean, if anything, I don't feel safe around socialists, Susan. Mm -hmm. What well, say you? I agree with you because didn't Mao kill 40 yeah. million people yes, with the Great Leap Forward or whatever, yeah, yeah. starve them to death. Exactly. But I think it's also hypocritic for these students to say, well, we're going to adhere our justice because didn't they accuse Rittenhouse of taking justice into his own hands? That's true. So the court said he's innocent, but yet these students say, well, we're going to 
we're going to say you're guilty. Mm -hmm. We're going to take away your rights for being at school. Yeah, they're stupid. That's <laughs> my conclusion. Todd, ASU, I grew up thinking that that's never going to go to that school. It's a party school. You won't learn anything. But this is worse than being a party school. It's like, it's like wokeism has come to ASU and extracted the fun and replaced it with miserable losers. Well, that's why it falls on the school to, and excuse my French, grow a pair in this circuit. How dare you, Oh, oh Pyro said grow a pair. Did you, are you talking about the actual fruit or testicles? <laughs> because I, I like love a good pair. didn't do anything. Right. I love but, a good yeah. pair. Yeah. I, will, I will bite right into a, a <laughs> pear. Oh, just, I'll suck right on that pear. <laughs> A fruit. Uh, a fruit. Tree. Fruit. 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 Not the testicle. A botanist. Uh, I'm at work right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is our job. This is our job. Uh, but the overall point, and I think I'm building upon what Tyra said, we have to stop treating these children as adults. Yeah. They're children masquerading as adults. They make these demands. Who are they right. to make demands? And you see it. It's not just in the schools, Greg. It has gone over to dare I say, Congress. You right. have these four or five people making demands of the entire Congress right. that are on this socialist left. And look, the Democrats cave to them and try to formulate their whole policy plan for them. It has to stop. It has to be nipped in the bud. They did not win the votes. They do not make up the predominance of ASU. It has to stop now. Yeah, and the, and the thing is... Good. Getting a lot of applause tonight, this young man. <laughs> uh, and the thing is, uh, you, when you're watching people appease to these demands, it's over. Like the, the whole pronoun hysteria happened because, like, a small segment of society says we don't like he and she. And then, and it's it's like, and Jordan Peterson called it out when it started. If you give into this, speech is done. And he was right. 